Using this simple circuit with a battery and light bulb will demonstrate the principles of measuring amps. The mode dial is set to DC amperage and in order to use the multimeter we need to move the red lead to the fuse 10 amp input. The common lead stays the same. We open the circuit and recomplete it, forcing the current to flow through the multimeter. As it does, we get a reading of the actual current in the circuit. Here we see 0.24 amps. Flows from the positive terminal through the multimeter, through the measuring circuits inside the meter, through the light bulb and back to the battery's ground. The multimeter is cleverly designed so that when put in series in the circuit, minimal losses are experienced through the meter itself. In this case we're measuring 0.24 amps, which is within the 300 milliamp limit of the second fused input on the meter. We'll replace the red terminal from the 10 amp to the 300 milliamp input. This allows greater resolution when measuring the current flow through the circuit. As before, electrons will flow from the positive terminal through the multimeter, through the light bulb, and back to ground. In doing so, they will dissipate their energy in the bulb filament itself as heat. Enough heat creates the light. When finished with current measurements, it's best to move the input terminal leads back to a voltage measurement position. Failure to do so and inadvertent measuring of a voltage would thus create a short circuit. 